I told you guys to stop following me, all right? Jeez. What? You wanna know what the next video is about? Fine, fine. I'll tell you. So I was on my computer last night, as I usually do, looking at transport enthusiast stuff. And I came across the Manchester Metrolink, which is a tram system in Greater Manchester, which I actually haven't been on before until today. <laughs> so I saw these two opposing point of views. One saying it's the greatest tram system in the whole of Europe, one saying it the worst. So I thought, instead of letting these people online tell me about this tram system, I, Network Nathan, the transport connoisseur, the tram enthusiast, should come on and view it for myself and give my point of view to you guys. So that's what I've done. So I'm in Manchester to ride on the Metrolink. The interior, I'm quite a fan of it. I like the layout of the seats and I like the maquette and I also like the amount of spaces there are for seats and the spaces for standing and wheelchair spaces. The seats are all right to be honest. I've been on better seats but I can't really complain because it's a tram which doesn't go that far of a distance so you can survive with a little bit of hard seats. I also do like the seats at the front because it's right in front of the cabin. You kind of get a little front view of the train. It looks like you can see the tracks so you looks like you're driving the train itself but it's not as good as the DLR, as the DLR has no driver cabin at all, so you could be sitting right at the front and possibly look like you're driving the train. But these have a, a bit of a barrier, but also quite cool. I'm quite a fan of the exterior myself to be honest with you. It has the yellow and the grey which I'm quite a fan of. And they're quite sleek tram trains with them being the Bombardier M5000 first being introduced on these lines back in 2009. When I was traveling, it was mostly off-peak, but as I was getting to on-peak times, a lot of the two-car formation trains were getting quite busy. So I feel like they should implement more four-car formations on the two-car formation lines. I won't lie to you. I'm a fan of the yellow, I'm a really fan of the yellow. You know what the yellow signifies? Yellow signifies bees, and bees signify community. And do you know what bees do? They transport pollen, but these guys, they don't transport pollen, they transport people. Poetry, poetry. <laughs> The train frequency for each line specifically is supposed to be 12 minutes, but as some sections of track run alongside other lines, those sections of tracks have a higher frequency because there's two different lines running alongside each other. For example, the Mega City to Ashton on the Lynn line. So the section of the tracks I ended up on, there's like half a tram, half national rail. So half of that half is not northern, this half, tram. And now it's raining. So 
the ticket I bought was an off-peak zone one to four ticket, which cost about four pound ninety, which isn't terrible in price. Um, I got to travel a lot of the system, so it was quite cool. But it has a similar ticket system to London, where they have zones one to nine, where as you travel through more zones, you pay an extra price. So usually on these trains, you have to open the door by pressing the button when it's at the station. But something cool I did find is that before you get to the station, you can press the door open button on the train and a green ring will come around, which means the door will open automatically when it gets to the station. And I feel like this type of thing can be quite useful as if you have loads of baggage and stuff or loads of bags or whatever, you need to get off the train, but you're next to the door, you can press the door to open. Then once the train starts to arrive at the station, pick up the bags and then the doors open, walk straight through. Instead of having to like fuffle, hold your bags, you know, try to like press the button at the same time, it's quite a difficult situation. So I quite like that. That was quite a nifty thing I had never seen before, but I quite liked. I know I said this before, but I'm a really big fan of like the yellow, the yellow everything, the yellow grab holes, yellow. Yellow, just yellow. All in all, I quite enjoyed the Metrolink and I will definitely be going on it again next time I go to Manchester. Would I say it's the best tram system that I've ever been on? Oh, I don't know. The Croydon tram system is quite a good contender. They have positive and negatives to each other. So it's, it's kind of hard to weigh up, but I do have to say the main feature I did like about the Metrolink was the button that you pressed before the doors open, so the doors open automatically. That is very nifty. Everybody else, take note. Should I go on all trans systems in the UK and find out which one the best one is? That'd be quite a smart video idea. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.